Hello, my friends. It is Thursday, November 30th, and this is a very different kind of grocery haul today. Yes, there's some deals, but I want to tell you what I did, and this is how it all kind of, the rubber meets the road. Now, um, I've told shop before, I generally do not get paid in between um, semesters. I'm a full-time adjunct professor at two different state um, colleges, and your pay stops when you are in between semesters. And it takes six to eight weeks to start that, that back up. So I have to plan for the future, like with almost all of my grocery um, hauls. So I've got like two more paychecks. So this was a big grocery haul, but I assure you my pantry and my freezer, um, and I have two freezers, a big one and a small one, they're full. And that's how we do pantry challenges, but sometimes you need a few things. So this is that kind of a haul today. You're gonna see the good, the bad, and the ugly. How about that? Well, y'all should know I'm a little bit different and I want to be different. So here is the breakdown. You're not gonna see every link, single little price on here. And most of y'all that are here, you just wanna see the freebies. But I'm gonna show you how, how I really made this go a long way, I feel like, and got everything we need. Plus, these are for some specialty fun kind of meals, all right? Now, I do need my notebook for this, so I'm gonna keep moving around. But I put all the deals here. We put all the deals here on these two chairs. I'm in the little breakfast area. Um, the Kraft Mexican cheese. Now, that's a big one because we're gonna use this several times and I might even freeze some of it. And we like the Mexican because we like it and it's shredded finer. But that is a $4.97 bag at Walmart. And I did only get a quarter back for it, but something is better than nothing. And they did not have that in the Walmart brand today. Okay, the candy canes. We finally got Brock's candy canes. The ones that are in the peppermint flavor though, they're like 100 for $5.98. Y'all, they don't scan. And I was gonna just get it done because I will give these to my students along with the Ferrero Rocher. But we're gonna have to do it the hard way, but you know I will. Okay, 12 Brock's candy canes, $1.42 at Walmart. Got back 25 cents for that. I'm repeating the stuffed puffs. They're on clearance at my store for $1. I got back 85 cents on it, all right? I am enjoying these little sweats. The mini cans, six of them, you get back 75 cents, and I don't mind that. I've been putting this with my free Splenda Peel and Pour Lemonade and making a little punch out of it. It's good. So these were $3. All right. These, I went back in on the cookies, y'all. Um, you know, these are beyond free at my Food Lion, and it reset today. So I'm getting a dollar each for these on Checkout 51, a dollar 50 each for these on um, Ibotta, 300 on Swag Bucks. So we're doing really well on these. So we'll go back, and I'm going to give some of these to food pantries. Um, we sent some in last time because people who you know, people who suffer and need food pantries, sometimes they need birthday cakes. Sometimes they need um, chocolate chip cookies for the kids. Sometimes they need cereal. Uh, sometimes they need pet food. So anyway, those were still like I did yesterday or the day before, $3.18 each, this brand at My Food Lion. All right. Now the degree, and by the way, I'm happy with my Ibotta, and I'm a little bit winded because I went to the store, brought all this out, styled it. I'm not the foremost grocery stylist or videographer, as you know. So I went in my fetch to see what other kind of deals I had. And I still had about $15 I needed to trigger an $11 Unilever bonus. Um, we know 11,000 points, that is not $11 um, on fetch for Walmart and CBS. It takes 7,000 points to get a $5 gift card. So that works out to about 1,400 points each. But these three items, um, these were each 569. They were kind of clearing those out so it's cheaper than Walmart. And my store, they're having to put these all in the boxes. So I think they were trying to do less of that. So anyway, 11,000, that triggered the 11,000 on Fetch Rewards, okay? These, I know we don't need sodas, no judgment here, um, but we love them. These were $8.88 each and $2 back. 
15 mini Cokes, 15 the bottle mini Sprites, same thing. Pringles, 50 cent each. These are about $2 and 50 something cents at my um, Food Lions where I got those. But I got the Cokes at, yeah, I got those at Walmart. North, toward the front, they were not with the sodas. All right, another fetch and Maryfield. I looked, we did not have one more spaghetti sauce in this house. So I'm like, I know what I'm doing. I'm doing that fetch reward, um, 1,500 back for spending $8 on Barilla sauce and 1,500 each on Maryfield. So, by the way, I thought we used to get a $5 reward at 5,000 points on Maryfield. And I thought I was gonna cash that in, but it says I'm not eligible until 10. But when I saw these in an email yesterday that they're 1,500 each on Maryfield, and then we had the fetch offer, I went ahead and did it. So that's enough spaghetti sauce for me to when, we, um, when I start getting paid again, mid-February. All right, now everything else, they don't have offers, but look at all the good stuff I was able to get. All right, I had a $250 budget, and usually I don't spend that much at all. Usually we eat what you see me purchase, but you'll see here, we got all kinds of stuff. We have got very good lunch meat. We've got sliced cheeses. We have hot dogs, which we're having tonight, y'all, those taste good in a deep fryer. We're not deep frying there tonight, but they're also good in an air fryer. We've got slaw and buns. There is fruit, apple slices and grapes, seasoned fries, my husband's favorite, uh, Ruffles chips, premium saltines. The saltines are gonna go with these different kind of cheeses we got. My husband loves these sliced cheeses. And I had leftover um, carrots and celery from making a chicken broth the other night for chicken and dumplings. So we wanted some more ranch dressing. We do have one, a backup, but he wanted another. We don't want anybody to feel food insecure. I got more decaf coffee. All right, I'm just showing you the variety of things I've got. And if you're still hanging in there, man, you get extra credit. All right, you can even have five more days on your project till you turn it in. Yes, I've been grading those like crazy. I'm a little punchy. Okay, we got, we got medicines. We got stomach medicines, like the Omeprazole is like Prilosec. We have the anti-diarrhea, the allergy pills. We have got soap, sour cream, little things for Mexican food, stuff for um, several salads. We'll make at least three salads out of that. So there'll be Mexican and Italian and, um, and I know spaghetti's Italian, kind of Italian-American will have that. We're gonna have a great crab and shrimp dish as well. Okay, there's soap. So you see, we got a lot of stuff right here. And so my budget was $250, and this stuff is gonna make the things I already have stretch. So here's what I did, if you're still with me, bless your heart. All right, first of all, here's what I took with me. I took $62 in gift cards with me two $5 shop kicks, one $10 fetch, one $22 in brand club, um, one swag bucks, um, well, two, one was 10 and one was five, one cash walk gift card for $5. That makes $62. And I just saw something great. I forgot to put that I converted over my, um, my shop meal. So that will help my bottom line. So I spent $206.49. All right, all together between Walmart and Food Lion. All right, the $62. By the way, you know what I did? By the way, uh, I bought it. I've got $5 for 10 offers, so it was good. I converted that, y'all. I converted my money from my checking account, my debit account. I converted it into Walmart gift cards, by the way. And for each one, you get credit for an offer. And I got 10 cents on each of the five $20 ones I got and 15 cent back for each of the $30 ones I got. So y'all still with me? So I took my $206.49 on down to $144.49 with all the stuff I took in with me. Okay, I'm getting back 1,500 fetch points for Barilla, 
11,000 fetch for the Unilever points, um, $3 for the Barilla on Maryfield, um, $5.85 Walmart cash for something. I looked at the activity and it just said um, that I had earned it. It didn't say on what. So that's surprising. $7.52 swag bucks. Um, $3.74 total on checkout 51. That's for the Mare C candy. And for the Keebler cookies. I might be able to cash that out within two years. Um, I'm kidding. I definitely will be. Um, $13.45 for Ibotta. And I have got a couple of other things. Uh, $3 for Alexa for the Mare C. Something for Shop Ma'am, I can't read, I'm sorry. Um, now, so I was really happy about how I decided to convert over my food budget money into offers and Walmart gift cards. So I was real happy about that. But after all of that, y'all, I have got this thing down to $99.97, and I still have to put it into Frisbee, Receipt Pal, Receipt Hog, Coin Out, Receipt Jar, and Pogo. So it does pay. I went and got there the brands I wanted and did not have to get store brands and everything from just my activity probably this past month or month and a half. And that's without even cashing out the Frisbee and the Poco. So I hope you found something of value here. I hope it didn't confuse anybody, but I wanted to show you that couponing and rebating, I really actually consider myself a receiver. I, it's all imported and it all works out. Yes, it's good to have all free stuff, but man and woman does not live on all free stuff alone. We can do a lot with it, but sometimes you have to get other stuff. But thank you for watching. I love you and I hope you have a great day.